what's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Check it out. We've got something for you today that, um, yeah, it was dropped on my hands. Thanks, Corey Gilmore. A distortion pedal. So today we're going to look at this thing called the Dark Glass Electronic. Uh, cool logo. And they make different uh, boutique style pedals for bass and everything else, but uh, higher end stuff. So, I mean, I've had this for a couple days, kind of messing around with it. And uh, yeah, I like this sucker. So it's already, bam, there it is. So that's what she looks like out of the box. There's your box and a uh, little bit of case candy on here. You've got some feet for her if you want to go feet or just use the Velcro straight on it. And then uh, what else we got some hair, da, 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 da. little case. There's a little emblem again, that's super cool. And da, da, da. sticker, yeah, I gotta love the stickers, man. So cool logo on the sticker. Throw it in there, throw it in there. Move my stuff out of the way. And of course, a little brochure on, uh, on the pedal itself. So, and a little brochure on different pedals that these guys make. So do check them out. Uh, yeah. So let's check out this Omnichrome bass pedal. Uh, right now I've got it on. Let's take it off. I'm just running through my DAW system and uh, my Line 6. Uh, simple, straightforward bass. Nothing added in there for any effect. Just I want to get a clear balance of what this pedal can do so you guys can understand it as well. And uh, yeah, have some fun with it. So... Awesome. So straightforward. I've got nothing, no effects, like I said. So let's uh, let's have a look at her. So this is how I got it set up. This is where I liked it the other day. Um, like the way it sounded, and uh, that's just my personal preference where I liked it. So it's got some other little fine tuning buttons on her, but uh, as it is, let's give it a shot. <laughs> I've got the level and how kind of 12 o'clock I've got the drive and then I've got the other two which is the uh, the blend and of course the focal point of where everything works so uh, it's got smaller buttons here kind of emphasize the growl and the uh, the bite so if I hit the bite it mellows it out right so with the bite on Let's try some of the blending with a distortion. So I'm gonna go through here and I mean, even with the higher distortion, it still doesn't break up the signal very much, but it's got a nice bite behind. Great pedal for if you're a four-piece band or a three-piece band and you want to add some bite behind the, the leads of the guitar parts. Uh, this would be a great tool for that if you're looking to have that or for intros or whatever have you to add that extra emphasis on your bass playing and, you know, your sound that you're looking for live. But for behind the leads on a band, this would be great. I mean... So let me go back to where I was at the 12 o'clock mark. And then... A 
subtle notice on the growl from the distortion. It's a little bit more, a little bit less. Sounds like a little bit of a boost. <laughs> Overall, I dig it. It's a really straightforward pedal. Um, not going to put you in the bank very much. This one's used at Long and McQuaid in Abbotsford for, for 225. I think they go for like 300, 350 uh, new. So, not a bad price point for a pedal. But if it gives you what you're looking for, then essentially it's doing the job, right? So, value of what your needed goods are to play. <laughs> have it that's my uh that's my review on the pedal it takes either the nine volt plug-in or of course nine volt battery in the back uh if you're plugging into your daisy chain into your pedal board by all means uh i do find that the plug-ins are weird because usually you know they'd be at the top kind of thing over here but they're at the bottom so kind of neat interesting depends how your pedal board looks and how it fits in your array definitely check it out Go to your local store, uh, wherever you're located, and ask for one of these, and uh, yeah, see if you like it. So, I've been Steve, you guys have been great, thanks for watching this, and uh, hopefully I've helped you out making a decision on uh, looking for a distortion pedal for bass. Mm -hmm.